Hello, hello everybody. I'm Rob. This is Sharon. We've got the first floor underway here. The sides partially finished and up. And it's another windy day here at the homestead. Cold. Very windy, cold. Now, what would you say? We just put the weather station up. What would you say the uh, wind speed was? Fifteen. Fifteen kilometers now. Around there, and uh, just going to give you an update on the hydro situation or lack of hydro situation. Um, so we talked to the the uh, one of the hydro officials or a contractor that works for them, and he quoted the price at a hundred thousand dollars to bring it five hundred meters or roughly 1,500 feet down the road. Um, if we would just go the route of just the hydro company itself, it's more like $120,000 for that same distance. We have one other option across the road as a possibility. There's a hydro pole 300 feet on the other side of the road in front of me, but we haven't approached the neighbors on private property. We haven't approached them to see if uh, they agree if, if they would be interested in selling us some of their uh, electricity or at least uh, access to the line. Uh, we, we are supposed to share it with our two neighbors, but uh, not, not at $100,000. It's way too much. We don't think it's worth it. We could get, invest in a great solar system here, and uh, we may go that route yet. Do you want to add to that? No, I mean, I don't think Hydro is giving us any consolation prize for burning the line out for them. They're not giving us any kind of a monthly deal on delivery charge or anything. So I don't particularly want to go Hydro. So the way it works is we pay for it and it, it's still their line. They maintain it. They look after it. It's all theirs. And the only thing we get out of it is access to power. That's it. Uh, every bill that comes through, every monthly bill is 36%. 36% of that bill is for the delivery charge. And uh, you're the ones delivering the line. It makes the, no sense. The way hydro works here, it's pretty much a monopoly, so there's no other options. The uh, they're well they're well known for for uh, very high salaries. It's all in the past recently. I think the top dog gets about, used to get about three and a half million dollars a year. And we don't want to promote that kind of lifestyle. Um, we'd rather keep our money and we'll see what we can, what will come about with our talks to the neighbors to the east here. And if it doesn't go over too well with them, then the other two neighbors are more than willing to go solar also. So it's a really doesn't make any difference to us. It's just a different way of having to learn to live with solar power rather than not even thinking about turning on a light switch or, or just knowing that with hydro it's, it's always there as soon as you need it. For solar you have to monitor it. You have to just watch out what you're doing a little bit more. Now the other thing is we might be looking forward uh, to putting in a micro wind turbine. And that's what the weather station is for, to uh, get a history of the wind speed, direction, the gusts. And uh, so we put that up and we're going to gather information for as long as we can, for as long as it lasts and, and see if it's, uh, it's worth putting in a uh, wind turbine in the future. And we can take this information and we can give it to the uh, solar installers in the future. Just a backup. With solar power you need to have some kind of a backup. From November to March, April, the sun isn't as strong as you need it to be to run everything that you run through the summertime. So, do you either use a generator or you try the wind turbine? Other than that, I'll give you a quick tour. Now, if you look at the studs, they're two by sixes, which is what I prefer. I like that idea better than two by fours. It's a little stronger, more expensive, but that's okay. 
Now this is where the uh, northwest bedroom is in here. In this corner here and there'll be a massive window in this area. As you can see there's a lot of sunshine coming through here. And this being the main floor, you can just imagine there's going to be another floor above this with a loft and uh, so I think looking at all the sunlight coming in I think we might be okay like I said before in one of the other videos we may take out that oak tree and that pine tree but only as a last resort we'd like to keep them they've only uh, they've worked here two days this week and they had another build as well on the go so they spent the last three days doing that the floor is plywood tongue and groove and uh, yeah we've had a lot of rain here the last couple days and it's just starting to dry out today and i think there's more rain on the way you want to add to that sharon okay that's it for now folks we'll talk to you another time okay this is sharon coming down the ladder we heard uh, we heard a tree fall down behind me here about 10 minutes ago Wind brought it down. Can't escape the future. Can't escape the future. 
was the first time you felt just a little bit of something, baby. And I fell believing I'd fly. I found a reason to give you just enough of what you wanted, baby. To find you weren't willing to try. I placed what I have in your heart, believe.